What's happening, everybody? We are back with Five Color Denial. It is a weird deck, and it's a strange time, but we're gonna see if it can work its way out of another altercation. I don't know. This deck, you guys, it's it's a strange, it's a strange hat to put on your head. I will say that much. This game is just shit in the bed right now. Here we go. This is kind of slow, but I play first. Do I have red? I don't have all the red I would want. This isn't terrible though. It is a little slow with the Voyage's End and stuff. I wish I had some counters or another red so that I had the Anger of the Gods on lock because that'd make me feel a lot better if this guy's aggro. Uh, I, Voyage's End is great in this scenario. So is Tribute to Hunger if this guy's greedy greeds. So I'm actually not upset with that. That's pretty good too. We'll just have to see what this guy has going on. Hopefully he doesn't get to play another creature here. We do have the Voyage's End, though, so... I mean, we've got tricks. That's not bad. It's gonna be a 4-4. Four, four. We just wanna see a lot of greed coming out of this guy. So we should be able to gain a fair amount of life. I mean, if this guy keeps playing stuff on the same dude, we should be able to do some things. I could Voyage's End this creature as well, which would be kind of nice. Uh, think twice. But red and blue is kind of strange in an aggro pile, though. We'll have to see where we go with that. Sadly, I'm going to take the four here, because I have to see what else this guy's going to play. Bottom for right now. Bottom for right now. Go ahead and cap this 2-2 two -two off. Go back to 14. I don't like playing that way, though. I don't like being on the play there. And I need another red. I mean, if I had the Anger of the Gods on lock, I would have let him go ahead and live his life for a while yet, but I don't really have that luxury. Naturalize is interesting, though, because I can make this thing a 1 or a 2 2 again fairly easily. And it is instant speed, so we can work with that a little bit. In case I draw the land. I have to cast this, believe it or not. It's not terrible. One cast of that main phase is not that big of a deal, though. You know, we, we have to work with what we can work with. I need to keep the natural eyes open just in case something bad happens here, but otherwise we can play around just a little bit. Now we'll be able to use the Think Twice again on his end step. So that's the great thing about Think Twice is that it's so diverse in this way. But I really wanted, if I had drawn the, the red or something, like, if I had drawn a land that comes in tapped, I really wanted it to be out on the field already so that I could do something there. Again, we're waiting on this red. This could end up being a really bad day for me. Shock, that's four damage. And nine. Oh, maybe I need more red in here. I'm not sure. This guy's got four cards left. Artful dodge. This could be it. Does this guy run counters, too? Because that's a pretty cool deck if he does. Oh, come on. That's neat. I like this. That's cool. That's a cool one. Should have killed the 3-3. Three, three. I fucked up. 
or I should have not taken the four damage earlier when I was going to bounce it, but I wasn't sure that that's what I was going to do, but I, I should have done that. Yeah, I definitely ate shit on that one, I'll tell you that much. That is my fault for sure. This deck, though, I don't know. Yeah, that was... I mean, it's a learning experience, you guys. I mean, we're going through and we're trying to see exactly how to play this deck because this deck is different. I mean, this is a different deck even in way of control style piles. This is a weird deck. It's a weird deck to try and get down. It's a weird deck to try and deal with. So when you're sitting there and you're looking at an opponent that's that aggressive that early, there, there's a lot of stuff that you have to kind of consider and I don't think I played this very well. It's a different deck, so... When you're switching back and forth between different kind of archetypes, it's it's a little tricky, you know, to, to get into the swing of what you need to do with a deck that's so dedicated. This is the kind of thing that you really have to sit down with and play a lot to correctly utilize it. I, I mean, I don't understand. I, eh. I mean, it, it, they almost kind of gave me hope here with this hand, though. Not with that, though. Not with the second shard. Come on now. Obelisk, I mean, whatever. We could be in trouble. One reprisal and one voyage's end is not going to be enough to control this guy. 23, 22 lands in here, I believe. I don't think 23, but 22 lands in here. Seems like a pretty fair amount, but we might be in trouble here. No ramp, which I think is really interesting. Um, that is a kind of a weird choice. We obviously could put ramp in instead of the naturalize, but I saw an opportunity for naturalize that I, I just excited me. I mean, it was a card that never got a second glance early on. It might be something we cut out before we make a final 60 of this deck, but for right now, For right now, I'm not sure what I want to do with it. There, there's a lot of artifacts being shown. There's a lot of stuff going on. I need some card draw here. That is lovely. Thank you so much. I wish I would have had it last turn, though, because there might be some bad juju that takes place here. This guy's got three colors. I could have negated that, but... I'm a little worried about what else this guy could have up his sleeve. Okay, he's selecting the mana to tap right now. So I will go ahead and be able to use my think twice. This guy could even be five color now that we look at it. I mean, well, we'll let him go to his end step, I suppose. Think twice. God damn it. This is unfortunate on a couple different levels. We're gonna have to figure something out here though. I need to start dropping lands all the time. I'm gonna go to 18 here. But I am gonna draw another card from the Think Twice. I'm gonna try, get weasel my way out of this. We'll see what happens. I need a lot of lands. Come on now, though. Okay, there's there's one. I've got all these different nullifies and negates open. Um, I have to keep reprisal. Boy, it just sends scries. This is a beat, but I mean, I gotta get rid of Obelisk. I'm a four mana, I'm two off. Voyage Zend is important because I get to scry at least. Negate and nullify. Reprisal can't go away because this guy's green, which means he could have the uncounterable dude, which I, I absolutely cannot throw away a reprisal into that uncounterable dude. I don't have I don't have a way to deal with that son of a bitch at all. Uh, I will nullify this though. This goes down to five cards. Not a lot of card drawn the uh, colors that he has, and aren't some of them still land, or at least one of them still land, I believe. Treasured find, target. If it's Angel, hey man, I'll just count that son of a bitch again. That's one treasured find down, land, balls. 
I could also reprisal it, so it's whatever. Or just bounce it back to his hand, which would also be kind of cool, because I could scry, for Christ's sake, and try to figure out what I'm doing with my life. Lo-fi. Four cards left for our friend here. I can naturalize the meteorite, but that doesn't seem particularly useful. What I use... See, the thing is, is that my land ramp is not instant speed, so would I use that here? I'd like to think no. Well, goddammit. Because that gets him something. And that makes me upset. I knew I should have reprised that 5-5, five five, because then I could have countered this 6-6 six six and he wouldn't have got this bonus card. Maybe I need more mana in here. Maybe we need like 24 mana or something absolutely stupid in this, because it's so dependent. And it doesn't have ramp, which could possibly be a giant, colossal, stupid mistake. Whatever. Let's kill this thing. It takes failures to create victories. That's what we're going to have to do here, I think. We're going to lose a couple before we can truly understand what this deck needs from us. Because it's not the perfect deck, but... I'm going to go ahead and stop that from happening. I don't feel quite like doing that today. I wonder if that's what he grabbed, because that would be amazing. If I draw a sixth land here, Obelisk just comes down. Because I don't even care anymore. That is not another land, though. This guy's got three cards left. We can think twice. We have tons of blue open, so we think twice right away. If he casts something we don't like that we can't reprisal. Think twice... Negate is not counter. It's not okay with me. Gets another card from us. From his deck. How many blacks? I got like three black sources, right? Yes, I do. Go ahead and negate that. Reprisal on his turn. Well, that's better than reprisal, actually. Is that what I do here? I might as well. Because he does have a lot of graveyard interaction that I don't want to deal with. He's got the treasured finds and things. I might as well put those guys away while I have the chance. Four cards in hand, though. I'm not a happy camper. He went and got the seance, though. I know that for sure. Elixir sucks because he has a Shadowborn Demon. But he doesn't have it in his hand, so he can't find anything just yet, so... I don't know. We're kind of in an okay spot. Really depends on what else he casts. I'm glad that I Angelic Edict the other Rune Scarred, though, because now he has a very low percentage chance of drawing that guy. My turn. That's a land. That'll work. That is the sixth land that I was looking for to get Obelisk out. Obelisk puts this guy on notice somewhat. I mean, it is able to do its three damage every turn, do that kind of stuff. That one one's a bummer. Three cards in hand still. I don't like this. I, I don't like how vulnerable I feel right now. This guy's got a lot of stuff going on. Land's not terrible. Voyage's End isn't terrible. What would I play that I would feel comfortable with here? Because I'd rather just play this obelisk. Two, three, four, five, six, that's seven. That's enough black sources for Grizzlebrand as well. We'll play this obelisk. We'll see what this guy has to do.
He could have weird stuff to do this one one too, actually, now that I think about it. I don't have my reprisal open anymore, but I will have obelisk open starting like now. He's at 25, but I don't think I kill this one one. I think I just aim everything at his face for a while with the obelisk. Oh god damn it. Got one of those out of his hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, so I didn't have Grizzlebrand. Do I want to wait for 10 so I can pick up Grizzlebrand if I have to? I don't know if I can afford to do something like that. I have so much removal and control right now, though. I don't know. We might just sit here and wait for 10 so that I can voyage in my Grizzlebrand. This guy has to have removal for this. Get to draw seven cards, though. He's only got two cards in hand. I think I hold all the power here since I have so many counters and everything. He's got three cards right now. I've got two voyages in to tribute to hunger. He can use that, but otherwise we're just sitting here. Draw a card, that's a land, there you go. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I'm one off of casting this Grizzle Brand with impunity, which might be the thing we have to do. I mean, Grizzle Brand's an important guy here. We can't exactly throw him to the wolves. Might need to pick him up. That's an interesting draw. See, but every time we kind of wait and we muddle around, we're giving him am like an opportunity to draw something that deals with Grizzlebrand. But if we're able to play him and then pick him up, we'll still draw the seven cards. I'm not too worried about it. Kozilek's an interesting one. I think I just throw him away because I get to cycle through my deck so quickly once Grizzlebrand comes out, so I'll go ahead and mix things back up here. That was a really good draw right there, actually, because all both of my obelisks go back into my deck, and we shuffle her up. The only thing that we're missing now are the... Okay, so I can tribute to Hunger this and gain some life. Could also Voyages end it, which would be nice. I think all my Think Twice are down here, but I don't have an opportunity to look right now because I have to Voyages End this guy. Let's go ahead and pop that back up into your hand. And Reprisal. Put on the bottom for right now. I could have also attributed to Hunger there and got rid of it that way. Two, four, six... Nine still. Think twice. Inspiration should get me this land, though, don't you think? Is that tapping all my blue? No, not even remotely. Let's find another land, you guys. There she is. Got that Nullify, Tribute to Hunger. Nullify is castable, Tribute to Hunger is castable. This guy's got five cards in hand, though. I mean, he's doing his thing. Go ahead and nullify this. That goes back. Put that away. Okay. Just gonna try and get some lands again, which isn't particularly distressing to me. He's back down to three cards. He's gonna have five cards in hand, but two of them are land, so. And we can finally cast our Grizzle Brand and draw some cards here. Really get to work. And we have 10, so we can cast Kozilek, and that'll draw us four more cards as well. This will work for me. I trust you, game. I'm, I'm sure you won't do me wrong. There's a 7-7 seven, seven lifelinker. 
He's ready to have a good time. Really, just Grizzle Brand's just always, he's just always a happy-go-lucky dude. Ready to have some fun. This guy's got so much mana. Like, I don't even know. We are going to pay some life to draw some cards. We'll probably draw a counter in the process. We did draw the negates. Does this guy have another Angelic Edict, do you think? Do we just voyages end this or what? I'll negate it. We'll see if he does another one. Like sir immortality. He could have had a second one, but we have the Kozilek in hand, so I'm not particularly upset. There's a good chance that I get to hit him for seven here, too. We'll have to see. Oh, planner cleansing. Eh, yeah. What a bummer. What a bummer. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kozilek's going to draw me an awful lot of cards here that I don't particularly need. Negate, nullify. I can't see the Voyage is in, but I need one more land to do anything. I have to get rid of five cards. Huh. It's weird because this guy's deck is not entirely unlike mine, so it's kind of annoying. Gotta get rid of these. I'll get rid of this. Uh, this doesn't seem particularly useful at this point in our lives. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? One reprisal? Yeah. Could have got rid of Kozilek, shuffled up my 7-7 uh, seven, seven back in, but we'll just see what we can do here. I don't think it's going to take too much more work to kill this guy. Inspiration me. I just need to draw one more land to make sure I'm safe to play my Kozilek. Play that. Play Kozilek. There he is. And get rid of these other lands, I think. The Angelic Edicts, probably. No, I want the Angelic Edicts. I'll get rid of this, this. I'll get rid of this, and... Ah, Tribute to Hunger doesn't seem too important anymore. See, I can reprisal the Kozilek and shuffle back up, which would be fine. If this guy tries to do something to me, like the Angelic Edict, but we did get rid of... No, because they shuffled back up. But he's only got one card in hand. What could possibly go wrong? We finally get to attack. This is what this deck does. Time to go to work. Even if he has fog, I don't care. Because I am annihilating things. He does have a ton of lands, though. He has a little farm over there. That he can just kind of play with for a while. But eventually that annihilator is going to get to him. Even if he has... A couple fogs in hand. We are going to start doing some damage. So there's that. Land for turn. Sit. Chill like a cool guy. Did I forget to inspiration? I think I might have not inspired. Oh no, I think I only had two mana open last turn. We'll see what happens. This guy's got two cards in hand. Um. What do I want to do here? Let's well, inspiration because I could just draw a negate, and it did. So then let's negate this, because that seems like a good call. Let's go ahead and go back to the yard. This deck's a lot of fun, you guys. I don't know. This this deck's pretty damn good. This is a pretty damn good deck. That aggro pile though, that aggro pile really got to us very quickly. Four more lands, they're gone. 
got some think twices that we can do here in case something else bad happens. This guy's at six. Your turn. We have 14 lands out. I don't know, man. Land ramp just seems, I mean, it gets me where I need to go faster, but I can't take turns to do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'll nullify that. That seems fine. Yard. I could also void just end it. I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point, though. Put another land out. Attack for 12. Bust up four more lands of his. I don't know. I, I mean, this is... It's a good feeling when this thing just starts going because there's nothing your opponent can do. You're just drawing all these cards. And every time you draw, you have something to counter them or do something. So I don't know. Even if this guy has fog, I would be fine because I could probably think twice. I, I'm i not sure. This deck is really good. It's it's a lot of fun, you guys. That's, that's for sure. Uh, thanks a lot for watching the episode. I'm not sure what else we'll be doing with five color. We'll be doing the other five color for sure. But that artifact pile, I want to get back to that. So that should be running concurrent to these. But I really want that five color to be kind of... Maybe this will be our first 60, though. I'm not sure. I think this needs a bit of work, though. So we'll have to see what happens. I, I'm not 100% positive yet. But thanks a lot for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time.